I have a 2016 Ford Fusion with an engine light on. So I'm going to check for codes and see what's going on. So it's showing that I have three codes on here. The first one's a PO456 evaporative emission system leak detected. Very small leak and it says it's been confirmed. The second one, same thing, PO456 shows a pending. And the third one, same thing with a permanent. So I'm going to check the system and see if I can find the leak. This is a basic generic drawing of an evaporative emission system. In your fuel tank there are vapors that are pulled into this charcoal canister. There's also a vent solenoid that is normally open that allows fresh air into the canister. Once your vehicle engine is warmed up, at certain times the purge solenoid will open, pulling the vapors from the charcoal canister into the engine. Periodically your vehicle will do a check of this system to make sure it's functioning properly and holds a vacuum. Some of the most common issues may be the fuel cap is open or not sealing correctly or if either one of these solenoid valves is not opening and closing correctly. There could also be a leak in any of these tubes or hoses that connect the system. The first thing to check for and the easiest thing is a gas cap. This model is a as a capless filler. So you just want to make sure that this little door is closed and it's sealing around here and it looks like it is so that does not seem to be the issue. The next thing I'm going to check is the purge valve. This has the 2.5 liter four-cylinder engine so the purge valve is right here in front and fairly easy to get to. I want to start by removing this plug. Just push in on this little tab on the top and then the plug will lift straight up. Next I'm going to remove this line right here. There's a little clip here. Just lift up on both sides of this clip and then push in on it. And then this line comes straight off. Next I'm going to remove these two bolts using an 8 millimeter socket. And then you can just turn the valve back and forth a couple times to loosen it up and it should pull straight out. You can test the valve by applying a vacuum to the port that goes into the intake and it should hold a vacuum. And as you can see this will not hold a vacuum so this valve is bad. Here's the new valve and I will do a vacuum test on it to show you how it should work. Now you can see as I apply a vacuum to this valve, it does hold. I'm going to cut this old valve open to show you how it works. The fuel vapors come through this port from the charcoal canister and out this port and into the intake on your engine. And it, the vapors travel from this area through this hole. So on here there's a plunger that goes up against here and normally keeps that closed. Behind that plunger is a spring that holds it against there. And in here is a solenoid that pulls this plunger back to open it up. And you can see it sticks a little bit. I think the issue with this one is it, it appears to be be corroded 
and that's why it was sticking open and allowing the vapors to go through here. I cleaned some of the corrosion off the plunger so I can show you how this works in the vehicle and I connected it to this 12 volt power supply so when your vehicle applies 12 volts it pulls the plunger back and opens the valve and this is how it should work but again with the corrosion it was just stuck open in the open position and was just allowing the vapors to go through to put the new valve in just turn it back and forth slightly while pushing inward and then make sure your holes are lined up for the bolts and then replace the two bolts Be careful when you're tightening the bolts so you don't over tighten them. To replace this line just push it back on and make sure it's fully seated and then push this clip back in till it snaps. And then replace the plug just pushing down until you hear it snap. And now I'm just going to erase the code. If your vehicle has set a permanent code, you cannot cancel this using the scan tool. If the issue is fixed, once you drive the vehicle again and the vehicle does a self-test, if the problem's fixed, it will cancel the code. The vehicle may have to be driven three to four times before it is able to cancel the code.